Well, just down the road here a little ways, the guy took, had to have some ashes, ash trees cut down. I've only got five quarter fucking ash for only fifty dollars a quarter, right beside the fucking road. Right fucking beside the road. All I had to do was pull, uh, 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 pull right up, park it on the side of the fucking road, and could have laid it right, load, load it right in the fucking trail. Fifty dollars a quarter. Yeah, uh, so... Oh my fucking god, that was... That was a fucking steal. That was a fucking steal. We're talking uh, $1,500 worth of fucking wood for $250. Hmm. Uh, is there yeah, a way to, to, to access the, the numbers of the calls? The, the last call that came in? Is there a way to access that? Uh, yeah, you press the thingy down. The up button, or? No. You want to find your last calls, you just... Off. And then just hit this. Okay, there we go. There you go. Six, seven, three, four. Yeah, I figure I'm going to give him a call just to uh, basically complain that Chief Duquette never called me. Guessing that he's, uh... It's gone for the day. The call cannot be completed as dialed. Oh, it's eight oh two. Uh, yeah, and it's five o'clock. The sergeant didn't call me that they were saying he was gonna commit it. Yeah, hi, is Chief Duquette there? Uh, can you tell me about what time he went home? Yeah, sure. It's out on the road still. Who wants to see you? You didn't come when I called you. Go in here. Get the road. Jack. I gotta make sure I take that lamp with me. Put my extension cords in there. Do you remember how long it took for um, if this guy's police department, this uh, Chief Duquette, how long it took for him to, to prosecute? Um, oh yeah, sure. Um, Ray, Ray, over. Uh, I don't know. And then they didn't even get him for molesting his daughters, even though he was like right on a chat log saying that he molested his girls. And then, uh, you know, they take like six months to arrest him. He got out of jail the next day. And then he does 20 days in jail total on numerous child pornography that he had on his computer. Well, I've got to worry about that same cop. Crack job by Chief Duquette. Yeah. Well, you heard about that same cop. You started fucking yeah, hi, I, I was um I was dealing with the police earlier. The, they came over here, they were lying to me about what this guy was saying, uh, trying to tell me that he, he didn't say anything to them through the door. Eventually I wrestled it out of them that uh, he did have some words for them through the door and that uh, I don't know, he dismissed them without uh, relinquishing to me my property. Um, uh, apparently he admitted to them that he has my property and that he just doesn't want to let it go and um, uh, there's, uh, there's a greater issue in that he threatened my life he said he was gonna make me disappear 
And um, I don't know, this is a guy who, uh, from what I understand, uh, people who know him well have accused him of murder, and that's his own words that you know, he has told me that people have accused him of murder. In the same conversation, he then started talking about hanging people from a meat hook on, a, on his wall. And, um, you know, like, that, that I'm having to, to suffer the police coming over. Uh, his name is Bigfoot. Yeah, um, yeah, so, um, I don't know, the, the, you know, the, the cops come over to get my property from him, they fail in that, you know, they lie to me about, you know, his saying nothing to them, although he really did say something that I was able to get out of them eventually, you know, after, like, a couple minutes of conversation that I recorded, I was able to wrestle out of them that he did respond to the knocking on the door, and, um, yeah, so uh, I, I, I don't think that the police response was appropriate and they didn't even bother to ask him about his threat against my life saying that he was going to make me disappear, you know, which he obviously is not going to do and if he attempts then you know, it's going to be a, a very ugly scene. But you know, I was hoping that I would get an adequate police response that it, it didn't turn ugly but you know, now he's over there thinking that you know, all he's got to do is you know, do whatever violence against me, thievery from me and uh, you know, do whatever it is that he's doing and the cops aren't even going to you know, uh, go about anything but you know, talk to him through his door. I guess, yeah, complaint. Okay, I have, I have to come over to the police station to fill out a, a form. Okay, so there they won't be an investigation until there's an approval of... Uh... Okay, so now it's not that there's an approval process, but just that I, I fill out a, a statement. So... Uh, Okay, who would the approval come from? Uh, like, who uh, is it going to be a sergeant? Is it going to be the chief? Or who who is going to issue the approval to do the investigation? You and uh, what was your name again, Sergeant DeSanto? Uh, what is this investigation going to curtail? Okay, well, I mean, it's going to be uh, all the same information that I just described to you, that you know, he ripped me off of $14, and then he threatened to kill me. Okay, well, you know, this is my question right now, is... You can't tell me what you might do about this. You know, I already received a bad police response that, you know, two... Uh, two of the cops came over here and did nothing about this and then they lied to me about what they did they lied to me about what he did and you know so now I'm sitting here you know wondering if there's any cops over there that you know that, that are worth spit you know if there is there's it. you know I, I've been through that before I had to call the state police because you guys didn't respond to a call that I made to you guys and then when I called the state police they very similarly didn't respond to me and they referred me back to you guys so you know this idea to call the state police you know that's not some great solution you know what would be a solution in my mind is that you answer my questions as to what it is that you're gonna do about this you know I would like to know you know before I come over there and fill out paperwork what's gonna happen what's gonna happen after I fill out this paperwork Hello? Hang up on you. Yep. No, yeah. Hi, yeah. That's the police we find out these spots. They hang up on you. Um. Hello? Yeah, it's a pretty weird hang-up right now because uh, the line hasn't started going like eh, 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 eh. Mm. It's because they left there that, it is. They left that line off. They left it open. No, I guess he really did hang up. <laughs> 